uh, we're growing. We've really outgrown our facilities. Um, we had about 60 students in the program last year. We've got over 211 students. A mysterious container has appeared on campus. What's it for? We've got the details on today's show. The basketball team hits the court tonight. In sports, we've got a preview of tonight's area matchup. The visual ensemble has been practicing all week for a competition. We will tell you all about it in today's entertainment. These stories are coming your way on today's THS TV. Good morning, I'm Camille Bunch. And I'm Brandy Talbert, and this is THS TV. Starting next Monday, you can use social media to not only encourage your peers to come to school, but also possibly win a pizza party. THS is hosting a contest starting next Monday and running through Friday, February 12th. The goal is to create the most creative message using Instagram to show why attendance matters. Just post your message with the hashtag THS every day, and remember to make your account public so the judges can find it. Tag THS News TV in the photo as well. Vice Principal Taurus Felton believes that attendance is an, it is an incredibly important thing. With the THS Everyday Contest, I hope to uh, bring about awareness to uh, school attendance so that uh, both students and parents will understand the importance of uh, students attending school on a daily basis. The first place prize is a pizza party for five of, of your friends. The second place prize is a Starbucks gift card, and the third place prize is a chick calendar from Chick-fil-A. During seventh period today, another Poetry Slam meeting will be held in the library. Poetry Slams in the past involved reading and analyzing poetry, and even hearing from special speakers. This meeting will mainly be centered around reading your very own poetry, and talking about the effects it can have on an average student. If you are interested in writing or listening to original poetry, be sure to stop by the library and join in. Um, TJ Maxx is hosting another volunteer opportunity for students. Volunteering at this event will involve asking customers for donations for the Jocelyn Diabetes Campaign. The Jocelyn Diabetes Center uptakes, undertakes diabetes research, clinical care, and health and wellness programs. You can sign up in student services for an hour of volunteering for this weekend. The event starts tomorrow, so sign up ends this afternoon. Tired of the same old news? Looking for a fix of entertainment? Well, THS TV reporter Constance McKnight just has your answer. For the past two weeks, we've shown you previews of new shows that we will have here on the THST ne network. The Blitz is a sports talk show offering insights and a closer look at national sports headlines. And the Now is our very own talk show with the hot topics of the day. Now let's shift our focus to another new show dishing off on the latest entertainment buzz. Today we highlight The 10, Thompson Entertainment News. The 10 is a sequel to Entertainment Breakdown from last year. The show will bring you the latest updates on entertainment around our school and around the world, such as the latest movies, music, TV shows, and celebrity gossip. The 10 is modeled after a couple shows you might have heard of. You know, we want to model our show after shows like E! News and things like that. And last year we did a show called Entertainment Breakdown, where um, we just did a lot of it entertainment type news and, and things like that so we're going to try to do this show like that show but just change some stuff up. The revamped show will feature three anchors bringing you the top headlines in the entertainment world. You can expect the latest buzz and a little gossip. The show premieres next week so keep an eye out for the 10. Reporting live for THS TV, I'm Constance McKnight. Everyone here at THS is glued to their phones hoping to see something about someone spotting a snowflake. And even looking up and down your timeline, there's non-stop tweets about praying for snow. There's no specific hashtag for this trend of praying for snow th through social media, but you can't miss it. Students are also buzzing about whether or not we will get out of school early, but as of now, today is being treated like a regular day, which means school's getting out at 3 o'clock sharp. To keep up with all ACS alerts, you can follow them on Twitter or Facebook for updates. And you can keep tuning into the show when Ashley breaks down this weather. Now let's take a look at other hot topics in today's national headlines. Has a picture of Osama bin Laden's corpse been discovered? 
Navy SEAL Matthew Bishnett allegedly kept a photo of the body on his hard drive. The SEAL has given his hard drive to investigators after agreeing he wouldn't be persecuted for the photo being in his possession. Airports could get a safety upgrade in the future with facial recognition software. The software will prevent fake passports to ensure identity safety and has already been implemented at JFK International Airport as of Tuesday. Could Pluto have a replacement? Scientists believe they have discovered a new planet in our solar system. It is being called Planet 9, and evidence leads scientists to believe its existence. They noticed a gravitational pull which made space objects orbit a mysterious force. Scientists are currently still looking to see the new planet through a telescope. Chase, who's playing tonight for the uh, basketball team? Well, they're both playing. Um, girls and boys, uh, they'll obviously play after the uh, mm -hmm. girls, but they're both playing Tuscaloosa County. Mm -hmm. um, but they, they also played Tuesday night, last Tuesday. They both, uh, well, actually the girls won. They beat Oak Mountain. Uh, the, gr the guys did not, but they both have a win winning record, and I think both of them will come win away with a win tonight. Okay, that's good. Well, as yeah. always, I think yeah. it'll be an interesting game. Yeah, I think so, too. I got more on today's sports. But first, we've got your needs to know in today's announcements. We'll be right back with more THS TV. High school football across the state is getting ready for a changeup. Stay tuned to find out what lays ahead for the 2016 season. Just like your parents always said, don't judge a book by its cover. The THS Library is giving students a chance to go on a blind date with a book. Coming soon to THS-TV, The Now. An upcoming teen talk show hitting your TV. I'm really excited about The Now because it's something that we've never done before. Covering the hottest stories that are trending. And maybe some that are, well... The Now, coming soon to THS-TV. Hope you enjoyed living in the now. Tonight, both varsity basketball teams will host Tuscaloosa County. At 6, the Lady Warriors will battle against the Wildcats, regional foes who are 14 and 4. The Lady Warriors are even with a record of 15 and 5 and a regional record of 3 and 2. The Lady Warriors are coming off a big win against Oak Mountain on Tuesday. On the other hand, the boys are is 11 and 8 on the year and 2 and 3 in the region. The opponent have struggled to an 18, 8 and 16 record and are winning, winning list in the region. The guys will play directly after the girls around 7:30. It's been about two years since the AHSSA created 7A classification, and now it's time for a realignment. In this newest changeup, many teams around our area have been affected. In Thompson's very own region, Hewitt Trust has been moved to Huntsville region with Bob Jones. Joining the Thompson region will be Huffman High School. Just down the road, Helena High has been promoted to 6A in the, in the region's Pelham. Bio Christian has been delegated from 6A to 5A, where they've prospered for many years. Finally, Madison Academy, who has won several titles in a row, has been promoted to 4A. Though there are several more changes, most of the Birmingham areas remain the same. For more on the new AHSAA realignment, keep tuning in to THS TV. Super Bowl 50 is drawing closer. Reporter Noah PB has the details on the divisional round of the playoffs and the preview of the conference championships. Last week completed the divisional round of NFL playoffs, setting up the NFC and AFC championship games. In the AFC, the Patriots would sneak past the Kansas City Chiefs with a 27 to 20 win. The Denver Broncos would beat the Steelers, led by an injured Ben Roethlisberger, 23 to 16 setting up another matchup between Peyton Manning and Tom Brady. This is the Patriots' fifth straight AFC Championship playoff game. 
in the NFC, the Carolina Panthers, who finished with the best regular season record of 15-1, defeat the Seattle Seahawks and streak out to a 31-point lead at halftime and hold off the attempted comeback of the Seahawks and win the game 31-24. to The final game of the divisional round was a match between the Arizona Cardinals and the Green Bay Packers. The game would go to overtime with a score tied at 20 apiece. However, in overtime, Larry Fitzgerald would make the game-winning catch and send the Green Bay packing. The divisional rounds over the stage was set for the conference championships. The Panthers making their first appearance since 2005. The Cardinals making their first appearance since 2008. This is a rematch of the 2008 divisional playoff game, which the Cardinals won 33-13. In the NFC Championship, we have a rematch of 2013 and 2014 conference championships, with the Broncos winning the 2013 matchup but losing the Seattle Seahawks in the Super Bowl, and the Patriots winning the 2014 matchup but defeating the Seattle Seahawks in Super Bowl 49. Senior Dan O'Tiller is hoping the matchup goes in his favor. Uh, I, I feel good. Um, I think I think we got a solid chance. Manning is going to have the epic comeback he needs. Uh, going to get one more Super Bowl before he before he decides it's, it's over with. But I think we got a good chance. For more on the NFL playoffs and Super Bowl 50, keep tuning in to TA. Now let's take a look at other headlines in the wild world of sports in today's national sports headlines. season the number one and the number two in the NBA will face off. The top ranked Golden State Warriors will face the San Antonio Spurs. This is the first time these teams have faced off since last year's playoff with Golden State taking that series. The 2016 NFL Pro Bowl has been announced with Team Ivory and Team Rice facing off. However, the final rosters are not yet chosen with the NFC AFC Championship game still to be played. The 2016 recruiting is in full swing with the top five team rankings so far as Ohio State number one, then behind the Buckeyes are the LSU Tigers, Florida Gators, Florida State Seminoles, and in fifth spot is the Ole Miss Rebels. That's all for today's sports. Tune in on next week for more local and national sports headlines on THS TV Daily News Update. Now back to Brady with more news. Every once in a while, THS TV comes across a not-so-normal story. Last year, it was the missing blue cart, which stirred up trouble for almost a week on the campus. Well, we've got another story, but this time nothing's missing. Something has appeared. I'm sure you've noticed this large yellow box beside the ninth grade building. Not only does it serve as a hot spot for Instagram pictures, but it also has a practical purpose for the engineering department. Well, the, uh, the yellow box or shipping container uh, is nothing more than, than really storage. Uh, with the engineering program, uh, we're growing. We've really outgrown our facilities. Um, we had about 60 students in the program last year. We've got over 211 students in the program this year. Uh, but we've run out of space in our class. The shipping container is supposed to remain here until the new high school is complete. Have something strange you want us to cover? Tweet us with hashtag strange story to let us know. With Valentine's Day right around the corner, you may be scrambling to find a date. While don't judge a book by its cover may be a good philosophy when meeting new people, it's even better with actual books. The librarians are hosting their annual blind date with a book starting February 1st. The selection of good books will be wrapped in paper with key elements written down. This gives students a chance to find a book about things that interest them without being distracted by the cover. Idea. I know we did it last year, and uh -huh. I, th I think I'm going to go and get a book this year. It's almost year. Valentine's Day, so if you want to go date a book, <laughs> there's your <laughs> chance. And with Valentine's Day, there's love in the air, and you're going to tell us about a cute couple that has come back together in today's entertainment, aren't you? That's true. True love isn't dead. Miley and Liam are back together with a possible engagement around the corner. We've got the details in today's entertainment. Can a blood-curdling scream in a horror movie actually cause your own blood to curdle? Stay tuned to find out in today's Health Corner.
to warrior weather. The temperature is currently 45, but it will only go down as the day goes on. Tonight, the temperature will go down as low as 36 and progressively get lower with a chance, with a chance of snow starting around 8. Tomorrow will be cold and cloudy with temperatures ranging from 23 to 39 degrees. On Sunday, it will begin warming up with highs around 51 degrees. Continuing to warm up, Monday will be cloudy and approximately 60 degrees with a low chance of rain. Be prepared for rain on Tuesday with temperatures around 51 degrees. That's all for today's Warrior Weather. Now let's hand it to Sammy for today's entertainment. Everyone thinks the visual ensemble calls it quits once football season is over, but their journey is far from over. Follow Alexis Lundy as she shows you what happens when the dance team and majorettes trade in the Friday night lights for the lights of the stage. This weekend, the Thompson High School dance team is hitting the floor at Spain Park High School for their very first competition. Led by senior Gracie Zagger, the team is hoping to bring home a first place trophy. Mostly just encouraging and telling them that like they can do it with hard work and if they put their hearts into it, it'll all work out. Sunday afternoon, the Majorettes are planning to twirl their way to the top at Homewood's competition. Gretchen Moore is the team's captain, and she has high expectations. Well, we're all a big group of just um, sassy girls, and we've all twirled together forever. And so I really just try to remind them of the passion and um, of the reason just why we twirl. We twirl for the Lord and not only just to win. So I think just twirling together and practicing every day of my life, you know, I think it all is going to pay off this weekend. Both teams have been practicing hard since football season ended and hope that this hard work pays off. Because we're going to get to Pelham, we're going to get to Lena, mm -hmm. so we're really excited to hopefully beat them. And I just think practice makes perfect, and the more we practice, the better we'll be. Yeah, and I think, like she said, we have some really good competition, and I think we have a good chance because we've really been like communicating with each other and working hard to, to hopefully win, and I think it'll pay off. I'm hoping in the end not we not only win like a trophy and you know win the title but also like self achievement like that we've worked so hard and that we're able to say that we did it and we succeeded. We'd like to say congratulations to Leah Warman, Benji Grice, Joe Ardovino, and Ethan Stone Cipher for being chosen for the Alabama All State Jazz Band. These students had to submit audition recordings in order to be considered for the All State Jazz Band. Yesterday, they headed to Montgomery for the All State Jazz Band Festival, which is held in conjunction with the Alabama Music Educators Association in Servants Conference. Everyone knows Liam Hemsworth and Miley Cyrus ended their five-year relationship. They started after they filmed the hit blockbuster, The Last Song. But what people don't know is that the pair were together with Hemsworth's family in Australia earlier this month. Disney's former sweetheart and the Australian hunk have had many ups and downs in their legacy, lengthy relationship. But when Cyrus posted a picture on Instagram with the same ring she was gifted in 2012 on her left ring finger, questions about their relationship were finally answered. The pair are engaged again and are also living together. They are planning on getting hitched before the end of the year. So keep tuning in to THS TV for more updates on this love story. Last week we broke down the top 10 songs on iTunes. Today's reporter Allison Singletary gives you a look at the top selling albums that you won't want to miss. Wednesday I highlighted the top 10 songs on iTunes. Now let's take a look at the top 10 albums on iTunes. Number 10 on the charts is the album I Cry When I Laugh by Jess Glenn. This album was released back in September. Next, at number 9 is Trap Soul by Bryson Tiller. Trap Soul was released October 2nd and has managed to stay on the charts since. Number 8 is Church Close 3 by Lecrae. This album was released only a week ago and has immediately found its way to the charts. Number 7 is Blurry Face by 21 Pilots. This album was released almost a year ago and is finally making its way to the top 10. Number 6 is Black Star by David Bowie. This album was released at the beginning of the month and released right before his death. Number 5 is Traveler by Chris Stapleton. This album was also released about a year ago and has shown great results in sales. Up next at number 4 is an EP by Brian Lanning called
called Like a Lion. This album was released just on Wednesday. Number three is Justin Bieber's Purpose album. This album was released in November and features the number one song on iTunes, Love Yourself. Number two is Panic at the Disco's newest album, Death of a Bachelor. This album made its way to iTunes last Friday. Finally, we have Adele's album, 25, at number one. This album came out in November and has managed to stay high on the charts since. Reporting for THS TV, I'm Austin Singletary. Entertainment. Tune in next Tuesday for more entertainment news. Now let's toss it to Michaela with this week's Health Corner. Some horror movies are so scary that some say they are blood curdling, and they aren't wrong. A team at Leiden University Medical Center conducted an experiment to see if your blood really does thicken when you watch horror movies. A group of subjects watched both the scary flick Insidious and the lighthearted documentary A Year in Champagne. Blood samples were taken before and after each film and the results were conclusive. The Frozen of Fear releases a little bit of blood clotting protein called Factor 8, and the protein levels changed, going up 57% of the volunteers during the horror movie and falling in 86% when they watched the Champagne documentary. So the next time you watch a horror movie, remember what those blood curdling screams are really doing. Tune in next week when we give you more health tips. Now back to Brady and Camille. A new fundraiser will have classes competing for a chance at a prize, all for helping those in need. The National Honor Society is sponsoring a Thompson Warriors for Wounded Warriors drive all next week. The challenge is based on grade level, and the faculty can get involved too. The group with the greatest total donations by the end of Force Connects Friday will earn a seventh period with snacks and door prizes. And if the faculty and staff wins, the NHS will deliver snacks to rooms, offices, and other areas during seventh. We're trying to raise money for the Wounded Warriors. And uh, it's the Thompson Warriors for the Wounded Warriors. Uh, we're trying to help raise money. So yeah, hopefully we raise enough money to actually help with this project. To donate, find the NHS table in the cafeteria during lunch starting Monday. We've got you covered what you can do once you get to school on Monday. Now let's toss it to Ashley with how to prepare for the ride to school. long and that means you might need an umbrella and a jacket Monday morning as you head to the bus stop. The temperature at 6 a.m. will be about 46 degrees with showers throughout the morning so make sure to bundle up as you head to school next week. Back to you guys. So we have three new shows premiering on mm -hmm. THS TV next week. Which one are you all most excited for? Um, <laughs> man, I might be a little biased but I'm excited for the now because I think it'll be really interesting to have a full functioning talk show here at Thompson. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for all, but you know, I have to go with my own. Yeah, <laughs> I, it's the blitz. I mean, uh, it's all about sports and more sports. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of sports guys here, so. Yeah, so I guess I'll go with my own too. <laughs> I'm excited for the ten. I think it'll be a really fun new entertainment show for the THS TV. And it'll be a great way for uh, THS TV to branch out and become more of a network instead of just a show. So students will have a little bit more of a choice of what they want to watch. And we also, I really want to encourage everyone to um, support this Wounded Warrior project and really participate because mm -hmm. it's, me and my father participate in the, this project mm -hmm. and it's, it's really, really important to get these people what they need. Mm -hmm. So I really do encourage everyone to come out and do that. That's all for today's news. And follow us on Twitter for updates on events happening at THS this week. Have a great day. THS TV was saddened to hear the news about our very own John Cohill. Cohill has been a custodian here at THS for many years. There are several nights when we were here filming an event, and he always smiled and wished us good luck. Our thoughts and prayers go out to his family. He will be missed.